Good morning everyone, welcome back to another round of Tinkercad projects. Today we're going to do a slightly advanced model of a steam engine. Okay, so if you don't wish to do the advanced model, go back to the basic tutorial, the easy one, to have a look and see whether you want to do that instead. Okay, if not, let's get started. Once you have signed in to Tinkercad, click on create a new design. Alright, you will need to show some waiting for this to load. Okay, now change the name of the project to Steam Engine. Okay, I'm going to just rotate my work plane to the side so you can see the sides of my shapes wherever I bring them out. Okay, now we're going to work on the cap first. Bring up a box to your work plane. Alright, click the top white dot. We're going to change the height to 50. Okay, now click the corner white dot. Change the sides to 40 by 40. Okay, so the sides are equal, 40 by 40. Alright, now we're going to change the color of this. You can choose any color you want. I'm going to choose a purple for my cap. Okay, it is up to you. Now we're going to add a window. Bring out another box shape. Okay, I am not going to change the height. I'm going to leave the height at 20. Alright, I'm going to click the corner white dot. I am not going to change the side here. I'm going to change the front side facing me. Change this to 42. Okay, and since this is a window, I'm going to change the color to blue. Alright, now I'm going to raise it up so that it's not lying on the bottom of our cap. Click and drag the black cone. Raise it up to 20. Alright. Good. Now use your arrow keys and just very gently move it to the cap. Okay. Don't forget to rotate your work plane if you want to check whether it is in the center and whether that you, you can see it popping up from the other side. Okay. Now once done, perfect. We are going to work on the roof of the cap. This one we're going to use a round roof shape. So bring it out. Click the top white dot. Change it to 20. Okay, click the corner white dot. Change to 40 by 40. Alright, now we're going to raise this up to the height of the cap. So we're going to raise it up to 50. You can also type the number in the box. Okay, change the color of this. I'm going to change to a different blue. Up to you what color you want. Now once done, use your arrow keys to shift the roof of your cap on top of your cap shape. Okay, make sure that it rests perfectly on top like this. Okay, once done, let's move on to the boiler. Let's bring out a box shape to the work plane. Okay, change the height. We don't need it to be so high. This is going to be the base of the boiler. Click the top white dot, change to 10. Okay, now click the corner white dot, change the sides. Side facing you is going to be 40. This is the width. The long side at the side is going to be 50. Okay, so 40 by 50, height is 10. Now change the color of your base. I'm going to match my cap color. Okay, now using your arrow keys, just gently shift your base, all right, to touch your cap. Make sure there's no gap in between. Okay, like that. You may need to change the orientation or the view of your work plane. Okay, just to make sure that you have fixed it nicely together. Okay, now perfect. We're going to work on the boiler. Let's bring out a cylinder. Okay, click the top white dot. We're going to change the height of the cylinder to 50. Okay, we're going to click the corner white dot. Change the sides. Okay, we're going to make it 30 by 30. Alright, okay. Now I'm going to rotate my cylinder such that the boiler rests on the long side. So I'm going to use the side double-headed arrow, click and drag anti-clockwise 90 degrees. Okay, it should look like this. Once you're done, okay, I don't know whether this raised height is the same height as my boiler base. So I'm going to click and drag the black cone. Just make sure that I raise it to 10. Okay, like that, raise it to 10. Perfect. Now we're going to change the color. You can choose the same color as your train, the steam engine, sorry. Or you can choose another color up to you. Okay, once done, use your arrow keys to move your boiler, all right, to your steam engine. Okay, make sure that it rests on the base 
neatly in the middle. Okay? Alright, now perfect. We are going to work on the chimney now. So we are going to bring out another cylinder. Alright, change the height of this cylinder to 10. Okay, click the top white dot to do this. Click the corner white dot. Change the sides to 10 as well. 10 by 10 by 10. Okay, it should be a perfect cylinder. Once you're done, okay, we're going to change this color to a different color. I'm going to choose purple to match my steam engine. Okay, now the top part of our chimney looks a bit like an open cone. Okay, so I'm going to bring out a cone shape to my work plane. Alright, I'm going to leave the height to 20. I'm not going to change the dimensions. I'm going to leave it as this. Okay, now for my cone, I'm going to click mirror. Okay, I'm going to flip it vertically. Click the vertical arrow until your cone becomes upside down. Okay, now once done, I'm going to click and drag a red border over my cone and my cylinder. Okay, select both shapes, click on the align button and click the two middle dots at the side and the front. Okay, so I'm going to click the side first, side middle dot, okay, front middle dot. Alright, perfect. So your two shapes should be resting on top of each other like this. Okay, if you don't want them to be the same color, you can always click a different color for this. Okay, I'm going to match my cone to the color of my cap roof. Okay, now once done, group your two shapes together. Okay, and don't forget to click the shape colored dot, tick multicolor, so that you preserve the two colors you have chosen. Okay, now once done, we're going to raise up, click the black cone, raise up these two chimneys, the, the chimney. Okay, we're going to raise up to 40. Alright, so that we can put it on top of our boiler. Use your arrow keys to just very simply move it to your boiler. Okay, you may need to rotate your work plane to check whether it's resting nicely in the center. Okay? Alright, once you're happy with it, this is how our steam engine body looks like. Now we're going to raise up the whole body so that we can add some wheels. Okay, so using your mouse cursor, click and drag the outside of the work plane. Drag over all the shapes of your steam engine. Okay, we're going to do a group. Okay, make sure that they are all multicolor. Okay, thick multicolor. If not, you will have to do this. Alright, now once done. I'm not going to click outside, I'm going to use the black cone, click and drag, raise it up by 10. Okay, so I have enough space to put my wheels. Alright, now everyone, we have a preset shape for wheels. So we are going to change, instead of Tinkercad basic shapes, click this button, click on shape generators all. Okay, you should see some country shapes at the start. Okay, scroll down. Alright, we're going to switch to page 3. So click on page 3. When you scroll up, you should see a wheel shape. Okay, I know this is not the steam engine wheel shape. Don't worry, we're going to modify it. Click and drag this out to your work plane. Okay, don't worry if it's big. We will modify this very soon. Okay, this is called the inspector. I want you to click the down arrow for the inspector to show it. Okay, we're going to change the rim style, which is the inside of the wheel. Change it to number 5. Alright, okay. The others we are not going to change. Okay, do you see that number 5 looks like this? It looks more like a steam engine wheel. Okay, now a steam engine doesn't have such thick tyres. So we're going to click the tyre depth, change it all the way to 1. Alright, and after waiting, you should see that the tyre is much thinner. Okay, the wheel is much thinner. This looks more like a steam engine wheel. Okay, once done, alright. I am going to click the back-facing double-headed arrow. If the inspector is blocking, just hide. Click the back double-headed rotation arrow. Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, click and drag 90 degrees. Okay, this wheel is sinking into the work plane, so we're going to raise it up to touch the work plane. Zero. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to change the dimension. Okay. For the height, click the top white dot. We're going to change this to 20. These are going to be smaller wheels. Okay. Now click the corner white dot. Okay. We're going to change the side facing you 
to 5, very thin. Alright, and the longer side at the side is going to be 20. So this will match the height. Okay, so again, uh, 20 by 5 here, the height is 20. Okay, so your view should look round and circular. Okay, now click onto this shape. You can change the color of your views, all right, to whatever color you want. Okay, once done, using your arrow keys, just gently move your view to join to the body of the steam engine. Okay, once again, you may need to zoom in and out to check whether you're positioning it well. Okay, now from here, I'm going to duplicate one time. Okay, and I'm going to move my duplicator shape using arrow keys. All right, to a part of the train and then I'm going to duplicate it again and automatically I should see my nice three wheels neatly positioned away from each other as such. Okay, now I'm going to change the view of my work plane to a bottom view so that I can see all my three wheels. Okay, I'm going to click and drag a red border over the three wheels. All right, duplicate this. Okay, and I'm going to move this duplicated wheels to the other side of my steam engine. Okay, so you have to rotate your work plane to do this. Make sure that it's nicely resting on the other side. Okay, perfect. Now we're done. This is how your steam engine to look like. Okay, all right. I realize my front side has a gap. So don't worry, just adjust accordingly. Okay, select it all and shift accordingly. Okay, perfect. Now, once you're done, all right, if you want, you can follow the instructions to add a cow catcher or a pilot. That's what we call it in front. If not, you can immediately take a photo and upload it to eCampus. Okay, so how to do this? Click onto the send to button. Okay, click download locally. All right, and you should save a picture of your file into your computer. Okay, lastly, once you're done, click on the X to close this box. Okay, we're going to save our work. Click the Tinkercad icon to save. Okay, make sure you wait until you see your dashboard again. All right, once done, click on the, the picture icon and log out. Okay, so that's all for Tinkercad Steam Engine. Upload the picture onto eCampus and then have fun with your modeling. Okay, see you.